remember? That after you had attained enlightenment, you said that for so long as the assembly of ordained and unordained Buddhist men and women had not yet become established in Dhamma, humans and gods had not yet attained to the path and fruit, and Buddhism had not yet spread widely in all directions, you would not yet pass into Paranibbana. Well, now all your goals have been achieved. You may as well pass away this very day. <laughs> Why trouble yourself further with benefiting sentient beings? Mara, no need to get heated up with worries and speculations. In three months' time, I will enter Purinibana. <laughs> Be sure then to keep your promise. <laughs> What was the cause of that sudden unexpected earthquake? Please tell me. Ananda, there are eight possible causes for such an earthquake. One, movement of the winds. Two, a person with psychic powers. Three, the Bodhisattva departs from the heaven of Tusita and enters his mother's womb. Four, the Bodhisattva is born. Five, the Buddha becomes enlightened. 6. The Buddha gives the first teaching, setting the wheel of Dharma in motion. 7. The Lord Buddha lets go of the life principle. And 8. The Lord Buddha passes away. I have now let go of the life principle. In three months' time, I will enter Parinibbana. This is the cause for the earthquake which just occurred. Oh, Lord Buddha, please live on to the end of this eon to teach the deities and humans. Lord Buddha, please live on to the end of this eon to teach the deities and humans. Ananda, why do you make this request of me three times? Oh Lord, you said that whoever develops the four methods for success should he decide to extend his life for a long period of time, he would be able to do so. That's why I have just now pleaded with you three times. Ananda, I have displayed the light omen, giving you the chance to invite me to extend my life Sixteen times already, ten times in the city of Rachagaha, and six times in the city of Wesali. The sixteenth time was just now, in the precincts of Paola Jetia. After which, I let go of the life principle. Had you made your invitation on any of these occasions, I would have turned it down only twice, and accepted the third invitation. But now I have met with Mara and resigned to dying. That which the Tathagata has let go of 
has undone, abandoned. It is not suitable to ask that he take up such a thing again. Ananda, all conditioned things have impermanence as their very nature. Having arisen, they must eventually cease. Complete cessation is the fulfillment of happiness. Nothing can be compared with it.